Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing is LCM. LCM stands for Least Common Multiple. If it was Greatest Common Multiple, you can just go on forever and try to find it, and you would never get there. So it's Least Common Multiple. Sometimes when dealing with fractions, it's called the Least Common Denominator, but it's relatively the same thing. One is simply more specific than the other. Multiple would be the same thing. Denominator just means it's in the denominator of a fraction. So I put three examples on the board. 5 and 15, 6 and 5, 24, and 21. Now I'm going to show you the long way. I'm going to show you the long way, and I'm going to show you the short way. So try these ones on your own. All right. Multiple is different from a factor. A multiple would be like 5 times 1, 5 times 2, which is 10, 5 times 3, 15, 5 times 4, which is 20, 5 times 5, which is 25, 5 times 6, which is 30, and then 5 times 7, which is 35, and it just goes on forever and ever and ever. Then you do the same thing with 15. 15 times 1 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 15 times 3 is 45, 15 times 4 is 60, 15 times 5 is 75, 15 times 6 would be 90, and then 15 times 7 would be 105. Dot, dot, dot. Now, you see that they have possibly some common multiple, multiples, right? You have 15 and 30, and quite possibly 16, right? Well, you also have 45, right? 45 would be over here, and it just goes on forever and ever. So you want to pick the least common one, and the least common one would be 15. Now, the quick way is this. You have set up your Venn diagram. You have 5 and 15. Now, what goes into the middle is the overlap. That would be the GCF. So the GCF of 5 and 15 is 5. Then what goes in these other blanks is, okay, what times 5 will give me 5? Five. What times 5 will give me 5? 1. What times 5 will give me 15? 3. And then you just multiply these. So 1 times 5 times 3 is 15. Now the same thing can apply to the other guys. With the other guys, they have nothing in common here. right? So the GCF is 1. What times 1 will give me 6? Well, that has to be a 6. This is 5. So what times 1 will give me 5? Five? 5. So then you multiply these. So the LCD here would be 30. The LCM would be 30 for 6 and 5. For this guy, it's 15. Now let's find this using the short way. If you did the long way, you'd have to list these out. But let's do the short way. What's the GCF of 24 and 21? Yep, it's 3. What times 3 will give you 24? Yep, 8. What times 3 will give me 21? 7. So then I have 21 times 8, right, or 24 times 7, either which way. And so there, it would be what? It would be 168. So the LCM here would be 168. And you find that by using the Venn diagram. Again, what you can do is you see what the GCF is, you see what they have in common, you put each number here, and then you ask yourself, okay, what times 
the GCF will give me that number. You put that number here. You use the same thing on the other side. And then find, to find the LCM or the LCD, you simply multiply them. So here would be 1 times 5 times 3, which gives you 15. Here would be 8 times 3 times 7, which gives you 168. And on the top, now if they're relatively prime, then what you can do is just simply multiply them together. And that will give you the LCM as well. Now, if you're doing least common um, denominator, you can always find a common denominator by multiplying them to each other. However, it's not going to be the least common denominator, and what you might have to do is simplify in further steps. And that's it.